Hey everyone, welcome to Biology Professor. I have another short video for you guys today that is a little bit different from my normal whiteboard format. Today I'm going to be talking about beach blight aphids. I discovered some of these in my garden and thought that they were cool and a little horrifying and thought that you might like to see them too. So that's actually what you see on my virtual background is the underside of a leaf from my garden and all of those white things are beach blight aphids. Um, how did I identify them? Not knowing much about aphids uh, myself, I used my iNaturalist app. I snapped some pictures and tagged the location and the top hit was beach blight aphids. I was able to Google those, look at more pictures and confirm that that does appear to be um, the cause of this infestation. So let me share my screen with you guys and you will be able to see a little bit more about these guys. So uh, let me go ahead and hit present here. I've got a few things to show you. So yeah, so beach blight aphids. Uh, these are the scientific name, Gorilla prosyphilis imbricator. Uh, never heard of it before. I assume I'm pronouncing that pretty, pretty close to the correct way. And all of the images and videos here are by myself. And so here we've got uh, beach blight aphids. Here you see the same picture that is my virtual background. Each one of these little white fuzzy things is an aphid. Here you see one that um, I took a video of and it was actually like, you know, moving along this stem. So I found this infestation. Um, basically I moved into a new house a little while ago and I don't quite know what kind of plant this is on. I believe it is an azalea, but we had a winter storm um, prior to my purchasing of this house. And most of the plant, even in the spring and summer, seemed really dead, just very brown. But there was some new growth coming in from the roots. And so I discovered this infestation when I came to cut away all of the old dead brown growth to make room for the new growth coming up. I do believe, based on the leaves, that it is an azalea, um, but it hasn't flowered, so I can't totally confirm that. I also will say that there were ants everywhere around this plant, all in the, the soil and the mulch around it. It was just teeming with, you know, hundreds or thousands of ants. And I had disrupted them and they were very unhappy with me. Ants are known to farm various other organisms, including aphids, because aphids will secrete this um, like sugar rich compound. Sometimes it's called honeydew. And so Ants will actually farm aphids. They will farm them and raise them as a food source. And so I believe that's what was happening with this particular infestation. I've got this video that I will play for you guys. Uh, I took this, you know, when I found it, you can see some of these aphids moving along. This right here just shows the, the plant that I was cutting down. I had already cut away huge amounts of just brown, brown leaves or sorry, brown, brown stems, uh, and just to clear up room. And then I found that the, the new growth coming in from the roots was all infested. I think you can see all of the white aphids on the underside of all of these leaves. So I had begun cutting them off as well, and then thought I would catch a video. Look right there, look at it, just moving, walking. These things, they were attaching themselves to my arms, to my clothes. Um, it really was just, you can see uh, they're on the underside of a bunch of these leaves. There were a whole, whole bunch of them. Um, after I had gotten rid of them, I read that if you, you know, like frighten or intimidate these aphids, they can do something called the boogie woogie dance, which is where they all kind of like waggle back and forth in what I guess is supposed to be intimidating, maybe intimidating to another bug. I'm not sure. Um, I did not witness that um, ph phenomenon myself. So again, there's, you know, the mostly kind of dead plant. I'd already cut down most of it. I was just trying to clear up some more room for it. And whoops, went too far. So what did I do? I used a watering hose and I just soaked the plant. I sprayed off all of these aphids with just a strong uh, stream of water. And I had my husband put down ant killer pesticide and I haven't seen any more aphids since. The ants are another story. Unfortunately, we, we keep 
finding kind of ant infestations at various points around our front and backyard. And we just treat them when we find them, but haven't seen any more aphids since then. So that right there is my uh, experience so far with beach blight aphids. I will say, you know, they weren't on a beech tree. I'm pretty sure what they were on was an azalea. I can't really find um, much evidence of them being on azaleas. So that's a little surprising. Uh, it, I suppose it's possible it could be a different kind of aphid, but my iNaturalist app said beach blight aphid and certainly um, phenotypic, phenotypically, morphologically, they look exactly like that. So if anyone else has had experience with these things, I would love to hear about it, um, how you found them, how you got rid of them, uh, and just, yeah, tell me all about it. And thank you guys for watching Biology Professor, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.